Hello everybody, my name is Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition where we are fans of board games both new and old. Today we're going to be unboxing Black Orchestra from Starling Games and it's a game by Philip Dubarry. Um, and this is quite an exciting looking cover. Um, from what I know about the game so far, you're trying to kill Hitler. That's a brilliant premise for any game, we all like killing baddies. Um, and I'd like to thank Starling Games for this review copy. Um, I'm very excited to try this out. Um, this is a game I've had my eye on for a little while, um, but co-op games don't normally go down well at my house. But I have to say, this could be a lot, a lot of fun. And I love something with a really good theme. So, as you can see here, I've got the box. This is the Kickstarter version. It just came from Kickstarter. And I have two conspirator packs, pack one and pack two, and we'll open all of them in this unboxing. So, first thing to point out, cover is pretty dramatic, right? Look at this, you got like the whole Reich vibe, people with hats, it lo you know, it looks exciting. Um, the box itself feels incredible. Don't know if you can hear that, you probably can't. It's that kind of nice, rough stuff. Quali quality, it feels like quality. Okay, so let's flip it over. Has it anything on the side? There's nothing on this side. Although that looks like a rip. Just a little bit down the sides, doesn't it? Yes it is. It has been kind of damaged. Then again, it's a preview copy, so maybe it's supposed to be one of the damaged ones. Okay, there's nothing on the side of the box anywhere to tell you the age limit, you know, the number of players. There's actually nothing. Okay, on the back now it's going to tell me the number of players. So one to five players. That's always cool when you can, a game can go to five players and have a solo mode. It's supposed to take about 90 minutes and it's for ages 14 plus, which kind of doesn't surprise me considering, you know, what it's about. So there you go, the year is 1936. Um, it's a tense and thrilling board game where you must evade the suspicious eyes of the Gestapo and secretly plot to assassinate the Fuhrer as World War II rages on. That's a, it's a, you know, it's a cool idea. So you can see over the board, there are cards you seem to be playing as particular characters. That's nice. And um, the art looks good from here. So this is all kind of enticing. All right, let's get into it. I'm amazed the box is so bare around the outside. <laughs> Anyone else surprised by that? Can you think of another game where there's nothing on the outside? Okay, so into the box. Da, 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 da. So, okay. So the first ta thing we see looks like a rule book. I am very encouraged by the size of this rule book. It's not very thick. Okay, so what's it made of? And um, that kind of waxy, solidy paper. You can you can see machines. And in it, we're gonna. There's a list of all the components with pictures. Okay, I, like, I love that the game board's actually pictured as a component with a little picture of it. That's hilarious. Setup doesn't seem to be too busy. Nice steps laid out. Um, key concepts, okay, so w winning and losing is a key concept, okay. Um, I like the fact that all of this is broken up into sections, it actually looks really easy to read. And it's got quite a few pictures, there we go. So play overview, so how play goes, that's a nice way to do it. Take up to three actions, all right. Um, some event cards, Gestapo raids, rest in prison, all right. So this all sounds very exciting and very serious. This is a very serious theme for a game and I don't think it's treating it lightly, which is good. Um, some plots, success or failure, what's on the back, hey, there we go. So on the back of it, it actually tells you how to win, it's actually on the back page. It's a 12 page rule book in a very small amount of pages. I like the font, it is typically Reich styled. And then there are variants, okay that's quite nice um, to have that. So it, it's very kind of short and sweet. I think it's kind of what you want in a rule book, isn't it? Hopefully it's also informative. Okay, so now you also have what looks like a kind of reference card. This looks like the rule book on a sheet. That would be really, really helpful. Yeah, it looks just like that. So hang on a minute, why wasn't this just the rule book? I suppose if you wanted more explanations or to be explained nicely. But I always think if you can fit your rule book on a sheet of paper, do it. Um, Cause you'll get people playing so much faster. Okay, so that, that's nice as there. Okay, so we've got a little bit of popping out to do. Um, all these nice little tokens, little chits. So there are all sorts of things. I'll bring it up to you guys so you can see there are cam keys and signatures and maps diff diff different difficulties that was hard to say side by side and ooh, and people okay people's names let's see what it's like so we'll pop one out oh i broke my cardinal rule i always pop them from the back i don't want some from the front other oh, little envelopes that's pretty cool oh there's goebbels and stuff so all these kind of famous famous nazis that's terrible isn't it nazis shouldn't be famous it should be infamous yes so um, these are really solid cardboard, they're really nice with the chits. There's not a lot of popping out, unless there's more. Okay, clearly we've gotten to the game board. This looks like it's the key component though to the game. So what do we get? 
You know, one of my life skills is not opening these boards. I'm really bad at it. Okay, so, which way around do you want to go? I think it wants to go the other way. Yeah, it's quite a big board. <laughs> it's this perfect square, which I think sometimes is really awkward for tables. Now, it might be my table's just not quite wide enough. So, we've got a little map of Berlin. Cool, places to go. There's a prison, so it looks like you're gonna hop around places. There's numbers on them, I wonder what that means. There's spaces for cards along the top there, I like that. The board itself is lovely, this is this is quality stuff. This is um, Battlestar Galactica board. <laughs> I love how I refer to you know, how board games feel to how other board games have felt to me, but you know, the kind of really textured, lovely, lovely board, really nice. The train station, shouldn't make that zug off? Okay, so, uh, okay, I should be thankful it's all in English. So we've got different parts of Europe around here and more marks, more event things. And we'll shove her up so you can see the second half of the board. So, oh, it tells you everything you can do on your turn. This game really likes to remind you how to play it. I don't think that's a terrible thing. I do find it a little worrying though that they think you haven't learned from these other ways. Um, so that's a nice reminder then. It tells you what the little symbols mean. You'll, there's dice rolls involved, okay, hopefully we'll be able to mitigate those. There's uh, a pile for Hitler's military support, we shouldn't have any of that. How to attempt a plot. So basically this bottom quarter of the board is entirely reminders on how to play the game. Um, I suppose, but I think this board, this game board is like the key to what this game is about. Now, is there anything on the other side? No, the bottom side of it feels really slippy and waxy. So I was just wondering, I was like... What are the odds? Most people don't double print their boards. I assume it's because it's expensive. Okay, what's in the box? Well, it's vaguely organized, at least they, they made an effort. Wow, these are really solid. These are not, you know the ones that you push and they bend and you're like, please don't break, I need to use you. Okay, I'm sorry, I saw the dice first. You got yourself some third right symbols and some cool font. All right, let's see, can I open this? Oh yes, whoops. Um, interesting to note is, do we get any bags to put this back into? Like once you open your dice, is that it? They're just gonna sit loose in the box? Yes, they are. A little bit of forethought there would be nice. All right. Mine can live loose in the box, at least until I get them a baggie. Okay, so, so you can have a look at these dice. They look very nice, they're very easy to read. Um, they feel really, I can't say they feel chunky. Well, they are chunky dice, obviously. Whatever they made, it was a really unusual plastic. I kind of like it. It's quite, it's like it's quite hard or something. But um, yeah, they are nice dice. I quite like those. Okay, we'll, we'll power on with the card section now that we're here. Now, does it come with a tab? Yes, it does. Thank you, modern board games. You're good at this. We, oh, sorry. I just saw the back of it. We should laugh at this guy. We killed Hitler. Yay! I love that. <laughs> Please tell me that's actually what happens when you kill Hitler. You get like a, a victory card you can show to your friends and post on Facebook. <laughs> if I kill Hitler, I'll post about it online, I promise. So that's pretty cool that there's a card that says we killed Hitler. Oh yeah, it is, it is indeed the victory card. First thing to note, these are linen finished cards. They're lovely. Super nice. And then, so these all have like the SS symbols and then some have numbers. These are lovely cards and the numbers change of colour as you go down, they must be dangerous numbers. All right, so what kind of cards we got? Okay, so the invasion of Norway. That's a real historical thing. So maybe there's some history in here. Jews targeted. London bombed, yeah. The sea lion postponed, I'm not familiar with that one. Anyone better at history than me? This will be really fun to play with my husband. He's really into history and I think if you're um, into this too. I think you might appreciate this. It's got a little bit of a Twilight Struggle vibe just with the cards being like this. Now obviously maybe they're not as, as cool as that but I like that these are, are real events that happened. Um, there are raids, okay. You get visit from Goebbels, all right. Like this seems really um, well, <laughs> I was gonna say well thematized. No, it seems like the, the way they're using the theme here looks really interesting. Oh, tell us what you know. So tell everybody to do in the comments. Um, do not reveal or discuss this card with other players. Ooh, so there's something secret going on. Oh, I like this. That's very cool. I do like a bit of that because this is a, a co-op. So this could be very cool. Your time is running out. All right, I like that. Um, it makes me very excited to play the game when I see things like that, when I see like somebody's put a whole bunch of effort in. Okay, we'll get to the next pile of cards. These have more numbers. Cause you know, everybody loves numbers. 
Do do do. And we get rid of the last little plastic. Yeah, I love the cards. The cards are super nice. Okay, so now, so what's in these? We have more numbers. We have oh, an anti-Nazi symbol. That's that's a good thing. And lots of those. All right, so the anti-Nazi cards. What are these looking like? Just devise a plot. All right, quick reaction. So these seems to be cards for players. Airplane access. Move to any legal space on the board. So that feels very pandemic-y, doesn't it? The board looks a little pandemic-y too. Um, that's cool. So there's a bunch of things we can do. High-ranking informants. So here's, yeah, here's like ways we're going to use cards to make things happen. That sounds good. Lovely cards. Ooh, look at these. It's got sideways. It looks like kind of like equipment. So long gun recruit you. Um, you are in the same space as Hitler. You're oh these, you're so basically oh these seem to be things you want to try and do. All right. Yeah. To be oh, okay. Maybe these are ways to kill him. Derail a train. Plane bomb. Hidden bomb. I love that. Here's a list of ways you might want to kill Hitler. Um, yeah, okay, cool. And what else we got then? You can, the conspirator nearest to Hitler raised suspicion today. Okay, so more cool cards, more real world events. There we go, proper ground strategy. So yeah, these, these look fabulous. Really, really into these. Okay, so there's a little bag with some wooden cubes. I'll give them a little bit of a touchy feely because kind of that's what you're here for, isn't it? Oh, they are made of, well, the pawn is made of plastic. The cubes are wood, standard stuff. But yeah, the tiny pond being made of plastic, it's made of the same thing as the dice. So obviously there was something going on there in the factory that made lots of sense to do that. Not that there are many pieces to go around the board. And then finally, we get to look at, I guess this is who you play as, is it? Theologian and Abwehr agent. What the hell is an Abwehr? <laughs> at the head of the Abwehr, most of the war, okay. The flow of information to the military. Okay, they're blank on the back. Okay, it, yeah, it does have to be the player ones, but I'm just like, an app where? Fair enough. This, yeah, so we've got a couple of, okay, so we've two men so far. There's Theologian, Deputy Head, General Han so and so. More generals. Okay, more people. So I assume we are people who want Hitler dead. Diplomatic Foreign Office. He's a civilian. It's the first one of those we've seen. Vermack, Chief General Army Officer. I like the pictures. The pictures are cool. Hopefully all the tokens will fit nicely on this. Colonel more close. Like, I get this is supposed to be historical accurate, but you think, you know, one woman somewhere might want to have killed Hitler. I'd be surprised if that wasn't the case. You know? <laughs> um, yeah, so okay, so that's all the, the character cards. I assume they're not the villains. Well, look, in your space, yeah, no, in your space, these are ones you play as. So yeah, I'm a little disappointed there's at least one lady I can gravitate towards. I'll have to settle for a middle-aged man. But that may, of course, just, you know, be, you know, be true to history, which is fair enough. But, you know, like I said, do you think one woman in history, you know, might have wanted to kill her? <laughs> okay, so this is the, the main box gone through. It looks really promising, doesn't it? It's very exciting. Um, and now we may as well have a little look at the conspirator packs. Now... The thing about this is, I'm pretty sure um, I'm allowed to open these and I don't ruin something. But if you think I might, and you know more than me, you should look away now because I'm probably going to spoil something that I didn't know I was spoiling. So they come in these little envelopes. Oh look, an envelope inside an envelope. I quite like that, it's rather classy and very much fitting with the theme of the game. So we'll go with Conspirator Pack 1. Do -do -do -do. It is in a rather nice envelope, and now I feel weird about opening it. Oh God, all right. Oh look, it's got a little sticky bit. Please, I don't wanna to have to rip it. I'd like to reseal it. Do you think that's possible? Oh no, it's too late. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that was never gonna pull off well, was it? Okay. Once you open the envelope, the envelopes are in. Mostly. Oh, oh, okay. And inside we have, da 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 da. Ooh, okay, so an achievement record. Very, well, what kind of stuff's on it? This is only a single page. You wanna be careful with it. So obviously you tick them off as you do them. Take them alive and stuff like that. So now we've got some more characters. So that guy looked like one that was already in there. As did this guy, maybe they're different. There's a civilian, hey, a lady. Right, so we had to go to like the expansion to get a lady. 
She's a student activist, that's fine, I don't mind. It's nice to see somebody. I think it's nice that there are additional characters. I think if you really like a game like this and you know you get used to playing the characters, I think it could get a little stale. By having new characters, I think this could really liven it up. That's really good. So that's what's in the first conspirator pack. And yet again, this is very nice cardboard. I don't know if I may not have mentioned the first bit, but shiny in the back, not so shiny in the front. Works good. Okay, so what's in the second one? Do, 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 do. Let's see, can I not ruin this envelope? I'm pretty sure that's impossible at this point. Oh, I miss the days when I could just tear open a board game with a show. <laughs> the only problem with unboxing videos is I can't see what's inside the game until I get here. I think that this is my unique feature of unboxing. Maybe everyone else knows what's in their box, you know, and pre opens it and stuff before they tell you about it. Not I. When you watch this with me, it's like I've just. I'm with you. We've, we're opening this together for the first time. And oh my god, I'm making a mess. All right, surrender now. <laughs> We, we surrender. There we go. All right, so this envelope gives us dun, 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 dun. another achievement record. Okay. Is this one any different than the other one? Is it the exact same? Let's have a look. Achievements going anywhere in games at least normal dictionary. Yep, they're the exact same. All right, so beyond that, we get another lawyer and agent. Cool, he looks rather serious. Um, an intelligent liaison, okay, also very serious man. And we get a colonel in high command, yep. And a civilian, his chief of police. Very cool. No lady in that one. So one lady out of the entire pile of them. Um, yeah, <laughs> only, only slightly uncomfortable about that, but that's, I guess, you know, that's something that's becoming uh, more and more apparent to people over time. But overall, this is super exciting. I can't wait to have a go of it. Have you played Black Orchestra before? Would you like to? Um, hopefully you learned something in this unboxing so you can see what was in it. Maybe it piqued your interest. And keep your eyes peeled for the review for Black Orchestra, which will inevitably be coming soon. So thank you for watching. Um, please feel free to subscribe or like to the channel if you like what I'm doing. Um, that always, always helps. And until next time, um, I hope you'll enjoy me. I hope you'll enjoy me. I hope you will join me for another unboxing video. Take care, everybody. Take care, everybody. Bye bye. Bye.